Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture on measuring the bioavailability by area under curve method. And here we are going to be using the trapezoidal rule method in order to calculate the area under curve. This is the third lecture in the series of bioavailability of drugs. And it is a part of short lecture series on pharmacology with me, Sanjay Dekshat. As we discussed earlier, the quantitative evaluation of bioavailability can be done by pharmacokinetic method and pharmacodynamic method. And since we said earlier, pharmacokinetic method, it is used based on the assumption that the pharmacokinetic profile ref reflects the therapeutic effectiveness of the drug. So it, it can be studied by plasma level time studies and urinary excretion studies. The plasma level time study is based on the assumption that two dose forms exhibit similar plasma level time profiles have similar therapeutic activity. The three parameters that are of importance in biology studies is maximum concentration Cmax, Tmax, and AUC. And here, this is the formula that's given for the calculation of absolute bioavailability of drug, where FAB equals to AUC extravascular by AUC intravenous. And provided that the dose is different, you need to calculate, you need to multiply the dose as well. AUC extravascular into dose intravenous and AUC intravenous into dose extravascular. Okay, let us look into area under plasma concentration time curve or AUC. The area under plasma concentration time curve or AUC values, they can be used to determine other various pharmacokinetic parameters such as clearance and bioavailability. Let us look at calculating AUC using the trapezoidal rule. Here it shows the area under curve, right? And area under curve has been divided into different segments. This particular segment is called a trapezoid. So we can calculate the AUC of each segment if we consider the segments to be trapezoids, the four-sided figure with two parallel sides. You can see that these two are the parallel sides and this is the final trapezoid that has been formed. So the area of each segment can be calculated by multiplying the average concentration by the segment width. We need to, to calculate the average concentration of this particular area and then multiply by the width. So here, you can see in the example the concentration at time two hour and the concentration plasma concentration at time three hour is given so we calculate AUC two to three as plasma concentration time two plus plasma concentration time three by two and multiply it by the width right here the width is T3 minus T2 which is one hour and the area from the first to last data point can then be calculated by adding the areas together. Here we have taken into account one particular area. We can calculate all the areas together and get the total AUC. So AUC 1 to N can be calculated as a summation of individual areas till point N. This can be better explained when we look at the example given. So let us have a look at this example. This shows the calculation of AUC in the particular figure, right? Here we can see that there is 100 and the concentration, maximum concentration is 100 mg per liter, right? This is shown out here. The extrapolation has been done so as to indicate the concentration at time zero okay and all other points have been all other points have been plotted from the same graph to denote the concentration 71 at one hour 50 at time two hour similarly 35 at three hour 25 12 6.2 3.1 so looking at this very particular chart you can find out that this follows first order kinetics, right? So here we calculate AUC by adding this two up and dividing it by 
2 and multiplying it by the time difference. Here the time difference is 1 hour, right? So 100 plus 71, 171 by 2 is 85.5. And you, when you multiply this 85.5 into 1, we again get 85.5. So AUC becomes 85.5. Similarly, uh, when we need to calculate the the AUC, this is the calculation of 0 to 1. Similarly, we need to calculate 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and so on, right? So calculating 1 to 2, we get 71 plus 50 by 2, right? So that is 121 by 2, which is 60.5. Similarly, this goes on, and this is the AUC, that's cumulative kind. So you add 85.5 plus 60.5 plus 42.5 plus 30 and on cumulative entry we get 291.9 and the first one and the last one are the extrapolated values. Here we can see that the first value and the last value has been obtained from the extrapolation of the curve. So this is how it is calculated. Thank you everyone. Happy learning at MCQ Pool. This is part of cheat sheet of pharmacology of MCQ Pool series. So this was about how viability is calculated using trapezoidal rule for calculating the area under curve of drug. That's all for today. Thank you.